Hey guys, Coach B, back in Marino, coming to you from Fitness Inspiration Inc. in Memphis, Tennessee, with our latest Getting Your Mind Right Mental Rep Video Blog of the Week, which is all about training and conditioning that internal self, you know, that mental, spiritual, and emotional self, um, as much as we train and condition the physical self. Because we know that if we don't train and condition the internal self as much as the physical, we're always going to have that gap between where we are and where we want to be. So that's what these me uh, mental rep vlogs are all about. All right, so this week, it seems like over the last uh, few weeks, I've seen a lot of people going through hard times, experiencing emotional pain, uh, a lot more than usual. And I myself had a recent moment where I was experiencing a little bit of emotional challenge myself. So those that is uh, my inspiration for this week's video blog which is titled attitude awesomeness seven ways to turn emotional pain into positive energy Woo so if that sounds cool to you stay tuned all right before I get to the seven uh, ways I just want to share the whole purpose and this video what I hope to accomplish number one I hope that you know sharing what I've learned from my own experiences, what I've seen work for others, that somebody out there will benefit and it will help them. And then number two, sharing, it's kind of selfish reason, number two, sharing openly and honestly in hopes of helping someone else makes my heart smile and that helps me in my whole healing process. So two reasons I'm making this video this week. Okay, I wanna open with a quote by Viktor Frankl. Everything can be taken from a man, but one thing, the last of the human freedoms to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances to choose one's way so you know going through hard times and emotional pain sucks I don't know about y'all but I'd be happy going through life without it but if you're a human being and you're alive then it's gonna be a part of the process it's just gonna be something we experience right and even though it sucks and it's really hard, and while it's super easy to get sucked into, uh, you know, all the negative things about hard times and emotional pain, about why me, oh gosh, is it fair, all that stuff, it's definitely possible to focus on the positive and to stay positive and to keep your attitude awesome and to, um, and to go through life like that. So, just like Viktor Frankl said, no one can take away the power of choosing one's attitude in any given set of circumstances. All right, so on that note, here we go. Number one, choose to think of Kanye West. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Woo -hoo. All right, for the serious ones. Number two, you know, choose to acknowledge it, accept it, and then use healthy coping skills to work through it. Acknowledge it, accept it, and use healthy coping skills to work through the pain and the hard times so that you can come out on the other side. Number three, choose to seek the help of a mental health professional if you need it, okay? Pain, I think there's all different levels and degrees, and but pain is pain for each of us, and it's gonna come in a different fashion and a different reason, but it's it can be, it can be hard. And so reach out to a mental health professional if it's too difficult to handle on your own, guys. It's okay. Denying it and um, turn into unhealthy coping skills or keeping it all inside is not positive and it's toxic for you and it's not gonna help you. So reach out and ask for help when you need it and if you ever need it. Number four, choose to protect your energy because it is so precious. And what do I mean by this? Focus in on why me, or what did I do to deserve this, or this just isn't fair, it's toxic, and it's a complete waste of your energy. Guys, we have so much going on in life, so many responsibilities, so many things that we wanna do that we're doing, we have to protect our energy. And focusing on why me, poor me, why did this happen, is not helping, and it's totally toxic. All right, so choose to focus and stay positive. Number five, choose an attitude of gratitude. 
And I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about why to be grateful for hard times and emotional pain. But choose an attitude of gratitude. And in a nutshell, because it's going to help. It's an opportunity for growth. It's an opportunity for growth and improvement. All right. Number six, choose to think of it, emotional pain and hard times, as mental fitness training, right? And what do I mean? Check it out. So, yes, the more reps, the more strength. The more practice, the better the skill. More experience, more opportunities to deal with the pain and the hard times equals more wisdom. Woo woo! Next, more challenges equals more opportunities for positive growth, people. More challenges equals more opportunities for positive growth. And the next one, more growth equals improvement. We're all about improvement here. All right, and then the next one, improvement equals better me, better life, better everything. But most importantly, bam, people, right here, all right? In all seriousness, hard times, dealing, going through difficulties are an opportunity, an opportunity to grow, to become stronger, to improve, to learn, um, to strengthen that, that internal muscle, you guys, so that as we continue to go through our life, just like when you go to the gym and you're pumping out the reps and you're consistent and you do hard work there, it pays off and you reach your fitness goals. Well, when you choose to look at hard times as opportunities and stay positive about how it's helping you, making you a better person. It's how it's improving your, your skills, how it's improving your ability to deal with difficult things. It's all positive and your emotional fitness is improving and life is going to be better and you're gonna be happier and you're gonna have better relationships and it's just, it can only be awesome, all right? When we focus on looking at it like it's positive. Once we've gotten through dealing with and feeling out, you know, the ickiness, because that's a crucial part of it. Got to acknowledge it, accept it, work through it. Just don't get stuck in it. All right. And number seven. Uh-oh, I think I lost my number seven. Number seven, drum roll, is next page. Here we go. No matter what, choose to continue to live life to continue to take healthy risks, to continue to connect with new people, and to continue to experience life, relationships with passion, enthusiasm, and with authenticity because it's so easy to let painful experiences um, you know, hinder our zest and our zeal for life and for, for putting ourselves out there and putting our hearts out there and soul and spirit because it sucks to be hurt. It sucks to be disappointed. It sucks to go through pain. But what would stink even more is to miss out on opportunities for awesomeness and for quality relationships and for love and for succeeding and taking risks and for connecting with new people, missing out on that because of past experience that, that hurt or past relationships where people hurt us, okay, that would stink more. And that's completely my personal opinion, but that's why I think it's crucial to make sure that no matter what and no matter how many hard times you continue, you choose to go through life and to contact with new people, have relationships, and take healthy risks with an open heart, with zest, and with zeal, all right, because it's going to be okay. A wise woman once told me, I don't want to hear it then, but there are no guarantees in life. There aren't. No matter what, no matter what, you guys, there are no guarantees in anything. Things can happen. We could be happily married. We could lose our loved one. We could uh, have the, a family and we lose a child. We could have a successful business, um, but something crazy happens and it goes under. There are no guarantees in life. And when we can embrace that, and embrace that we know that there's no guarantee it's gonna go out the way we want no matter what, but we continue to open our heart and we continue to live life freely and connect freely 
instead of out of fear, out of joy, because we know no matter what, we are going to make the most of it. We are going to take it to the max. We are going to love every second of the precious life that we've been given and definitely not going to live in fear. All right. So that one wasn't on the note, but it just came up, so I had to share. Um, no guarantees. Embrace it and zest and zeal through life, baby. It'll be awesome. All right. So Coach B, that was this week's Getting Your Mind Right Mental Rep Video Blog of the Week. I'm going to close with the awesome quote from Viktor Frankl. Everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of the human freedoms. To choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. Victor Frankel. See you soon. Bye-bye.